and I'm Liv and, and we're the Mesha Twins. Twins. Today we're going to do what I think the most requested video at the moment from you guys which is what's on our iPhone. You guys have seriously been flooding us with questions, DMs. I don't no. understand what the hype was about it but we're going to do it anyway. I guess that's... everyone's just nosy. Yeah. <laughs> because there is two of us we're just going to take turns so like I'll show you my front page then Olivia will show you her front page. You know. Get yeah. the point. Just before we start, both of us have the iPhone 7 Plus. Our camera quality is amazing. I, I like the love, button. I don't like yeah, the ones that the button. Same. Confuses the hell out of me. Like, I love this phone. So, yeah. <laughs> A few people actually always ask us as well what phone cases we have. This one is from Typo. The actual phone case and this little pocket are separate. Yeah, I just have like a clear phone case. I'm not clear I, now. It's, well, it's not clear now. It's very discolored. It's really good. I'm like, what, $4 from eBay? But I know. eBay. It's job. Okay, so on my front screen I have a little wallpaper and it just says it was all a dream. I think it's really cute. Okay, so when I first opened my phone, I just basically have all my iPhone apps. I don't think there's really much of them I need to show you. Like, I've got my photos and stuff, but I don't really want to bore you with just a bunch of photos of me. The ones I use the most, I actually use notes a lot. Like, I put a lot of things or reminders or lists of things I need to do in there. And, um, yeah, yeah I, I find it really handy. I also write up, like, workouts and stuff in my notes and I just leave them all in there yeah so then I have my social media folder I have that on my front page where basically all my social medias are all of that will be linked in the description anyways I have my Instagram I always talk to you guys on Instagram as well so all you guys are always messaging I always talk to you guys and especially our adorable little fan pages I'm always Hello. checking your photos always stalking you guys um, and then I have snapchat which I oh hello I actually don't use Snapchat at all. Ever since the update, it just became dead to me. I just yeah. never used it. I always use Instagram stories now. I yeah. only really use it for its filters sometimes. Yeah. And then I have YouTube, which obviously I use all the time. Also, we always talk to you guys in our comments on our videos as well. Like, love talking to you guys on there. Um, Pinterest, I don't use all the time, but sometimes if I need some inspo with like photo shoots or like images or photos I want to take or just holidays, food. Yeah, and then Tumblr, I don't actually use it all. I used to be pretty active on there, but not anymore. To be honest, I don't even know how to use it. <laughs> Twitter. So that's my profile. I don't really post much on there, but I am pretty active, so go follow me if you want to. And then We Heart It, I also use sometimes for inspo. It's kind of similar to like a Pinterest and Tumblr. And then Musical.ly as well, I just have that because I downloaded it one day. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of fun. So that's my front page. Oh yeah, I don't use the music app because I use Spotify. Messenger as well, which is part of Facebook. I don't really use that either because I don't use Facebook. I also have our little home page for our website. If you didn't know, we actually do have a website. We used to use it as a blog a long time ago, but we before don't. You, before YouTube. We only really use it to sell our clothes. This is our website. It's pretty old and not updated. In Worn Wardrobe, we actually sell a lot of our clothes. We're really affordable on there because heaps of you guys always love them and we're always yeah. putting new stuff up there well we're planning to anyways um we just struggle to find time only available within australia though which is kind of annoying but yeah then i have whatsapp which i have only used like a couple times to talk to like international people but when we were over in bali it was so popular that's the way everyone communicated and talked mm. to each other like, everyone used it and yeah that's my front page <music> So my front page, I've pretty much got the same apps as Ashley, just all the basic iPhone apps, my photos, I've probably got about like 10,000 photos or something. I don't use the music app because I use Spotify, as you can see I've got my Spotify there, my Commonwealth app for all my banking and stuff, and then I've got all my social apps in the one folder. I have my Instagram and as you can tell I must have some DMs from some of you guys. Facebook I don't really use but Facebook's starting to send me stupid notifications about my friends commenting on other people's statuses that has and nothing I have to nothing to do with it. <laughs> I think they're just trying to get me to get on the app. Snapchat which I said I don't use. Tumblr, YouTube which I use all the time. Pinterest I actually use all the time. Some of you guys have started following me on there as well ever since um, our room tour I think it is. <laughs> So I actually have a few followers on there now. <laughs> but I love it. Like I use it 
all the time. I'm probably on it more than what I am. Some of my other apps. Twitter, Musical.ly, and We Heart It, which Ashley spoke about. And then I have my folder for all my health stuff. So I have the health app, which comes with the iPhone, which I actually use, like, a lot. Yeah, wait, was that on my front page? I think it was, but I didn't even show it. I use it a lot to track my steps. As you can tell, when we went to Bali, we did a lot of steps and a lot of, like, kilometers. And then I have this... SIT, I think it's SIT. I use it for all my workouts. So I calculate the amount of sets that I want to do, how long I want each rep to go for, the break, and then it has the total time of like nine minutes. So if I have like circuits or something, that's when I would use that. It's so good for workouts. Oh, and then I have My Fitness Pal, which is a really good app if you want to like track your calories or your macros. I don't really do that at all. I don't really recommend it either if you want to get an idea of like stuff you're eating and what things yeah. consume or contain in them i think it's really good and then yeah our mesh twins website which ashley showed you and then i have this other folder which is like all my navigation apps and as you can see i have a fuel app don't really know why i have that <laughs> ways Waze is so good for like directions and maps and stuff. You can actually plan your drive. We use that for like everywhere that we travel to. Yeah, so if we have an event coming up or something and typing where you, where you want to go and what time you want to arrive and then it will send you notifications of what time you have to leave and stuff. And then I have Zomato, which I don't really use. I don't actually know why I got it. But I use it every now and then if you don't know where you want to eat and you want somewhere to dine out, you just type in where you're located it will come up with a bunch of places you can eat at and yeah that's just a train app and I use gmail for all our emails I don't really like the mailing system that the iPhone comes with um, so the gmail app is really good yeah that's kind of my front page Okay, so now I'll show you my second page on my phone. Basically, I have FaceTime, which, like, sometimes we just FaceTime because it's easier to talk. But that's yeah. about it. Or we FaceTime our family if we're away, like, on holidays or something Yeah, like yeah. Podcasts I use a lot. I use mm. because, I don't know, I use it for, like, meditation, just general, like, podcasts I want to listen to. I listen to these people. Whole Body Relaxation Meditate. Guided that's meditation. Not, that's a that's a podcast. That's not the oh. name. That extras don't really use them. That's why I just chuck them all into a folder. Actually, I think they come in a folder. Anyways, Combank, which is my bank app. Boomerang. I don't actually use that because I just go on Instagram to use Boomerang and then like save it if I need to. So I don't really use that either. I have an F forty five app as well, which. I used to use because we used to go to F45 like last year, but we don't go anymore so I don't really use it. But I'm just going to keep it there just in case I do want to go back or something. VSCO Cam, which is an editing app. I don't actually use this app at all, but I just never deleted it. Hey guys. <laughs> so that's that. I have Facetune as well. I really only use that to touch up a few things, maybe white and backgrounds or stuff like that. And Light, which is another photo editing app, but I don't use it really at all for my photos. I really only use it to make thumbnails. Kind of random because I don't think anyone else makes thumbnails on there, but that's how I make the thumbnails for our videos. Ashley makes all our thumbnails for yeah. our videos. <laughs> so, props Me. to her. So I have a Dropbox app as well, which is really easy when, like, I don't know, we're just trying to send big folders to brands or something like that. So it's just easy to fit in there when it doesn't fit in the emails. Lifesum is a good app as well. It has a lot of good recipes. I don't actually use it. I remember downloading it because I saw a few other YouTubers promoting it and stuff. It looked really good. It's like a mix of like a dieting app that like tracks your macros and everything as well as recipes and everything. It seems to have some really good recipes in it. I just don't use it because like I kind of forget it's there. Unum I use to lay out my Instagram feed like prior to uploading photos and stuff. And then you can like play around with photos on what goes where and what looks best. Yeah, it's a really, really good app. So that's my feed. And then I have Canva as well, which is also a really good app, like making thumbnails and stuff. I don't mm. really use it. I usually use it on my laptop, but I just downloaded the app on my phone just in case. SIT, that app, Olivia I showed you that. Sure. So I'm not really going to talk about it, but I use it as well when I work out. And then I have Uber Eats as well, which I don't really use, but... We've it's, used it a few times. Yeah, we've used it a few times. I love Uber Eats and it's just there in case I need it. Then there's the app called Flow. A little bit... <laughs> TMI. Yeah, a little bit TMI. It's like a tracking app for like your menstrual cycle and stuff like that. It's actually like the best app for that stuff that I've ever found. I'm not going to go into details, but like yeah, it's just a really, really good app. 
Yeah, so it's basically just like tells you um, what's going on in your cycle and it's a really good app. And then I have Headspace as well, which is kind of like podcasts, but a bit more specific to like, I don't know, meditating and clearing the brain and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's really good. It's got heaps of different things. I use it sometimes when I feel like I need it and it's really good. And then I use Lightroom down here, which is also an editing app and where I edit all my Instagram photos. You guys are always asking about like how we edit our photos. So if you guys want a tutorial on that or something, let us know. I love Lightroom. It's an absolute lifesaver now and I couldn't imagine not using it to edit my photos. And then I have a Boost Juice app because I'm a loyal member there and <laughs> I like to get my Boost drinks. And then I have an All I Can Eat app which is basically it's really good because it categorizes your foods and like tells you what's high in histamine what's high in fructose and all that kind of stuff because like not all foods digest in my stomach really well it's basically like the red and orange is like bad which you don't want and then like green and yellow is like okay so you can eat that stuff yeah it just helps me sometimes when i don't really know what foods i can and can't have then i have a watermark app which i've used like once to put watermarks on my photos for a collab or something and then I've never used it since but yeah that's basically my second page my second page you've got all yours in folders yeah I've got all my mine folders okay so I have my extra apps which just have all of the iPhone apps that come with the phone and just some others I don't use them either Oh, actually, wallet's really good when you have, like, a um, boarding pass or something. You store it in the wallet. Is it's that actually, how you do that? Yeah, it's really cool. What the heck? Yeah, it's really cool. I've never known about that. Or, like, tickets. Like, if you have tickets or something, you put it in your wallet and you just get it scanned off the phone. That's so cool. Yeah. Um, and then I have the edit app, which I don't use any of these anymore because I don't edit my photos using them apps. But I still use UNUM, which is what Ashley was talking about before. And the travel folder, I have just the Uber and the Uber Eats app. We use Uber quite a bit. But yeah, like Ashley said, we don't really use Uber Eats. Also, I have the Airbnb app, which we don't use too often. But like, it's really handy when we're looking at Airbnb yeah, when you need like that. that. In Lightroom, Ashley spoke about Lightroom. That's what I edit my photos on. I have the eBay app because... I don't know, I don't really shop on eBay, but I think we've bought a few things off there before. And then I have Characters, which is kind of a random app, but it just basically has cool, like, little emoji kind of characters. And, yeah, if you see now, like, Instagram bio, we have a few of them in there. And people have actually asked us before, yeah. how do you get those little <laughs> crowns? And then I have Smiling Mind, which is also, like a headspace kind of for like meditating and stuff kind of is only really meditation but it has styles and programs like you can do breathing and so much i haven't actually haven't tried it yet that. but it's it looks really good you haven't tried it yet i haven't tried it yet because <laughs> my naturopath told me to get it and i actually haven't gotten the chance to use it and then i have digigo which we used for the drone like we, we tried to use well it yeah we tried that was completely unsuccessful and then I just have the podcast app which I use quite a bit as well okay so I basically just have one more page on my phone and it's just a few little random stuff that like isn't that important but I also have a FODMAP app which is kind of similar to the all I can eat app that I showed you guys and it basically just helps you with foods you can and can't eat if you have symptoms of any of them kind of digestive problems the FODMAP diet is like what you're meant to follow and wow that's so cool you didn't know about it? no my doctor actually told me to download it so that's why I did <laughs> but I don't actually really use it anymore and then I have the GIFTS app which to be honest, it's kind of annoying. I don't really know why I have it. The Spotify app I use for my music and everything. Um, so I listen to all my music. It's great. Kira Kira, that's like an app where it makes your videos or photos like sparkle. And I use that like once and then never again. Facebook, I have on my last page because I don't actually ever open it. Like I literally never open it. <laughs> And then I have characters as well, which is what Olivia was talking about. And it's just got a bunch of really cool characters. I have a few of them in my bio. And then LinkedIn, what is that? I don't know. Oh, what is that? I've got no idea. What the heck? Looks like a news. What the heck? Um, so then I have this app called LinkedIn, which I have absolutely no idea what it is and why I even got it. 
But anyways, and then I have GPS Radar, which is it's like an app where sometimes brands and stuff will invite us to events on there and then we have to accept them off that app. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't really know if we have anything extremely interesting on our phones. Yeah, I don't. But I used to have like games and stuff. But ever since I got this phone, I don't really do that stuff anymore. That's yeah, basically <laughs> what's on our iPhone. Yeah, I don't know if that was like interesting or not, but you guys have been asking for it forever. So I hope you guys enjoyed and got a little insight into our iPhones. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment down below some apps that you like. Make sure you subscribe because we're nearly at 100k and the giveaway is so exciting. We can't wait. Yeah, we're slowly growing a little family every day and it's super exciting for us. We honestly love you guys more than anything. Also, make sure our post notifications are on because we now have a schedule and upload every Wednesdays and Sundays and yeah, we don't want you guys to miss those videos. Right. So yeah, we will see you guys in our next video which will be on when Sunday. 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 <laughs> On Sunday. Bye.